Good morning, YouTubers. Today, I was inspired by the movie Paper Heart. I'm not sure if you guys seen it with Michael Sarah. It was like a really great movie, and like um, Chin was actually trying to find love in that movie, like but she didn't know what love was, and like but she like never experienced love before, and like she didn't necessarily want to experience love either. So today and tomorrow, we're gonna just interview people about what love means, and if they have love, and if they what if they actually believe in what love is. And so stick in tune. We got a whole lot of great people coming up, friends, family. Some just random ass people off the street. So we'll see what's up, okay? Peace out. I think he's taking a picture. Oh, it is a picture. Yeah, no, it's not a picture, guys. Okay. What is it? So, quick question. What do you guys think about love? I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, no, like, unless you're like my mom or like my cousin. Yeah. But like my homies, then like, if you can go somewhere, then it's just me personally. Okay, why is that? Because you can't. I can't trust people are shifty. I can't even trust myself half the time. Bro. I don't trust nobody else. Bandock? I love my mom. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my boy. Yeah, I love everybody, man. Hey. The world go around. You're married. The world go around. No, I love you. I love the guy with the camera. Bandock. Uh, Alright, so... Female. Do you think do you think that you guys are like gonna find love in somebody else? <laughs> no. <Right? laughs> no. Okay. Not, no. <laughs> not planning love, but no. maybe. I'm gonna find somebody who I can like deal with. <laughs> yeah, brother. Alright, for sure. Thank you guys. Every little thing I do, you're on my mind. Okay. Alright, What's your name, sir? Emmanuel. Where you from? I am from Durango, Mexico. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about love? Uh, I think it's awesome. I think it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> when it's mutual, you know. <laughs> when it's only when it's only coming from one person, I think it's fun. That's true. And have you found love? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody has. Everybody will. <laughs> Soon. Dude, thank you. Do you ever think that you're going to find love? Yeah, I guess. Do you ever think that you're going to find love? No, man. Why not? No, I'm, I'm still young. Get something fresh. Show the thing. Well, but you got to... Uh, right, state cool. your name real quick, sir. How you doing, Jilly's bro? Pain. Okay, where are you from? Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Sir, what do you think about love? I think that there's no such thing. Love is deep infatuation. Do you, okay. <laughs> no, no. Why do you think that? <laughs> what, why do I think that? Yeah. Because if you can fall in love after years mm -hmm. or after one day, it's too much of a discrepancy. And so I think love is conjured up in your mind when you feel so attached to someone. <laughs> I like that. And have and have you yet have you ever found love before? I have. I have deluded myself into believing that I was in love before. Okay. Yes. And, and what happened in that past experience, sir? I can't tell it on camera. Okay. <laughs> so, Rachel, what do you think about love? What do you think about love? I think that people just don't understand what it actually is. Mm -hmm. And that love and love affection are two different things. And I have a lot of opinions about it. I guess love is a choice and it's something that you do when you see the worst in somebody. Right there. When you, love is when you actually see the worst in somebody. But you still make that choice to be with them or to okay. care about them. Her definition no. kicks my definition mm -hmm. So that's good. Yeah, you get all into it. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's just kind, it's patient, it's all those lovely things. Yeah. So, have you ever found love before? Cool. Yes. And uh, was it definitely positive or was it definitely negative? Uh, it, it had its... It had its negative, because uh -huh. I guess I can call myself a little bit of a hopeless romantic, or <laughs> so uh, I can pretty much love anybody and love them till the grave, and you know, some people just aren't like that. So, what did you learn from it? <laughs> I learned that we're not, not everybody's on the same level, of, especially when it comes to that topic. Okay. For sure. So. Thank you. Where are 
It's just it's a really big gap in the English thing. No one would think It's really easy to get lost there. You don't have to good. Is there anything that love has taught you? Be calm, be caring, be open, be open-minded. When they have when they have something to say, listen to them speak. I'll just listen. When they're sad, don't ask why. Figure it out by. You see a problem? Don't be a problem causer. Be a problem solver. Thank you, sir. I see love like the Smuro. Love being the rocket ship and the planets are humans. We don't get too close to one of each other because we don't want to be sucked in by others. This generation now we live in is afraid to show their true emotions and take a chance on love. Maybe, just maybe, the rocket ship could travel to your planet. <laughs>